All right, got my new boots in. I tried them on, they're pretty decent. Have to break them in a tiny bit. I do have a new helmet. I've mentioned in my older videos that uh, my helmet, the Vega helmet, is like, I don't know, it has to be about six, eight years old. Um, it was like a super cheapy one whenever I bought a uh, four-wheeler that uh, we were getting some new helmets, so that was my helmet. MSR pants, I have not even wore them yet, so they're like brand new in the mail. And MSR shirt, which this is actually the shirt that I wore last year, so it's uh, still going good. These are the Leap knee pads, knee pads with a shin guard, I don't know what you want to call them. But I like them a lot. They, uh, they have a ball up in here. Okay. So whenever you're moving, it just kind of pivots. You can see the hinges there, and it just pivots. And for me, they work really good. They don't feel like any type of restriction or anything. Got my fly hydration pack, which they might not make anymore. It's like a uh, two-in-one special. So you have chest protector in the front, some shoulder pad pieces there, and a hydration slash storage area in the back. Um, I originally bought a Fox airframe for uh, racing, and with the little tiny backpack hydration packs, it just did not feel comfortable. It just didn't feel right. And it bothered me enough to go with that brand new one, go buy that one. So yeah, sometimes I can be uh, picky. Uh, next down here, these are the uh, shorts I wear underneath my jersey. They're a padded short. And they, they have little, you know, little cushion pads here and there, all, you know, in case you fall, a little, little something to help do the impact. They are from 661, which I'm not sure if uh, they make motocross stuff. I think these might be a pair of, um, I want to say, uh, mountain biking shorts. But I got them for like twenty dollars compared on a closeout compared to sixty dollars for a pair of you know like box ones or whatever one I was looking at. Here's my goggles right here. Let's see. Got a nice shine to them. They are EKS. These are yeah, these are EKS, and these are my number one goggles that I wear. I have a. Uh, Set of brand new Fox mainframes or whatever they're called with a clear lens, and I just always prefer these. I really like them. They don't fog up on me, so they must have some good ventilation. Um, so it's good, good, good. Uh, here, uh, if no one's really ever seen my helmet, really good. Here's uh, my setup for the camera. So. As before, I probably showed, you know, the actual camera mount and everything, but I never really, might not have shown the uh, hydration that goes in there. And I end up zip tying it right in that spot so that it won't be moving around too much. And here is a connection point. I forget who makes this. I want to say it might be US something. Um, gloves. 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 Probably seen a lot of the gloves in my videos that I wear. Nothing too special. Um, I was getting really bad blisters for probably half of the season, if not three quarters of the season. And it, like it would just be normal to have maybe two blisters on each hand. So I was talking with Paul, another uh, District 14 racer, and he said that he used these. And he used the thicker uh, ODI uh, grips. I had on the thin grips 
and I didn't have any type of hand protector on. So the very first race that I wore them, or made the change and you know wore that stuff, I did not have a single blister on my hands. So I don't know if it's just these, or if it's the grips themselves, or a combination of the two. But from now on, that is going to be exactly what I'm wearing. I, I go with uh, what I what I think looks good and the price is right. So uh, this is the uh, highlight of my gear so far. Oh, I did bring up my old boots to uh, show you a good set of used Tech 8s. Um, these are actually really comfortable boots. You know, they have a booty in them, so they uh, do have some nice good feeling on the bottom side of them. I'm curious to see how the uh, Garnets are gonna compare to those once they get broken, you know, more. The re only reason I am selling them, or not selling them, golly, my mind is crazy today. You want some Coke or something different? Uh, just Coke with ice if we can get it, or if I can get it. Is this happened? So it's supposed to look like that. First, I had a crack along the bottom, and I tried not to tighten them up all that much, and that just. Uh, it just ripped and uh, I with the way that it's attached and everything I don't think there's any way that you can fix it glue it or anything so it's unfortunate because you know they're they're a good boot they uh, these ones are a good boot look at the bottom these things are I don't know eight years old or something and they are just broken decent with a nice cleanup on them they would you know they still wouldn't be bad look at these soles not bad at all so kind of sucks I think I'm just gonna keep them up north for a spare boot that way whenever I go in the ride up north I don't have to pack everything because on top of the normal stuff I pack if I'm bringing all my motorcycle stuff you know this is all extra stuff here I can keep my old helmet up there my boots and then at least you know take take down some room but that's it this is the uh, going to be the 2018 uh, loadout that I'm going. I'll uh, jump into something else, maybe in my backpack in a little bit. This is it for now.